Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck today for a great sword rapier build for tank. You're gonna see this is kinda insane. This is a good meta, mostly for the boss that you need to break the stamina and you don't want to, to lose too much DPS. So you're gonna just up for a great sword because it's one of the best DPS weapon, probably the best DPS weapon. But since you're a tank, you're gonna be in the defiant stance and the Defiant Sense on the Great Sword gonna do less DPS than the Onslaught. Uh, I'm still gonna give some alternat alternative and some way to make this build work and do enough DPS. Uh, and you need to remember that you're not gonna have leadership, so you need to make sure that your DPS are the type of DPS that have a Empower Cap without the leadership before taking leadership off. Uh, and then you're going to be able to help them to work the stamina of the boss. Uh, and more often you're going to break the stamina. Uh, you're going to get into that phase where the boss fall on the ground. He's going to fall on the side. And you can go and hit the spine. And when you hit the spine, you do way more DPS. And uh, there's some other phase into the, the game where uh, breaking stamina is a nice thing. So I think this build is amazing for that. Um, and the DPS, like I say, is pretty good. So let's get straight into it. You see, this is a great sword. It's two-handed, all right? There's the movement with the great sword that you plant your great sword into the ground, all right? And if you are into the onslaught stance, you're going to plant your great sword into the ground. And it's going to pull the mob onto you, all right? But if you are... On the defiant stance, you're gonna plant your great sword into the ground and it's gonna push them away. But during both time, like even if the effect is different, it's gonna still give enfeebling. But there's a passive into your tree that you need to use to put enfeebling on your enemy with it, and it helps a lot. I did this video without Serenity because I upgraded Serenity on my other account and I feel like it's wasting resource to do it on all my account. I was not even sure I was going to tank at that moment and I like I created that build on the fly. But I kind of realized that there's some testing to do because the finisher gave 15% more base DPS. So it, I don't know, you can have Trenchant Strike and then Trenchant Crit together on serenity too so between those sorts in fact it's pretty hard to choose and at this point it's kind of your choice uh, you could be having the the rapier with rand on it if you have the serenity artifact and someone is knocking on my door so so you see this time i think it uh, on my main on my main i have the void dark plate it's not even upgraded so if you want to upgrade it you can put like uh health and it there's a few good perks that you can take uh, you can put it into the description what you would like on your void dark plate it's just that for the moment i'm just i just keep spending money and i'm down even like farming look I, i'm at 40 gold i have tried like I, I did not even try to make money since i came back but my two other account i have like more money so i'm kind of fine i don't care all right so you see as a crystal, you're gonna drop that into dungeon. It's a really easy build to get, so uh, it's like an easy starter build. But the thing that is that I need, you need the most, is the conditioning to survive. Um, the the thing, if you want to be able to lower your con, the conditioning could help. But if you got conditioning, then you're gonna need to change conditioning. It's gonna be pretty hard to have a conditioning for everything, but it's still possible to do it. So uh, you can have the finishing gem too into your armor. Even if you're a tank, it's working, all right. Enchanted War not too bad. And you, you sh instead of having uh, like refreshing is good and like there's a good a couple other good perk, but it don't really change that much. Like uh, I know that shrinking fort is working. Like uh, there's a few good, but it's mostly melee DPS that you're gonna take. So it's why. I'm speaking more about like the conditioning and the shrinking fortification. It's it's like easy way to counter the melee DPS and the DPS coming from everything. And yeah. So and you're gonna see I I did it uh, into the video and you can see the build work. I'm showing it at the end. Uh, I'm using keen refreshing move, twarding strike, uh, 
maybe with a transient recovery that would be easier to survive but my goal is to do more dps so transient strike would be maybe better than thwarting strike uh, and uh, yeah like there's transient quit that would be great too since i have keen why not transient quit so um refreshing move uh, it's pretty good you don't really need it but it's pretty good since uh, it, you it helps you keep the aggro and stuff you know and uh it's a bit like in a sword uh one thing that you can do maybe it's to put the carnelian on the rapier and then put like an emerald or a diamond into your great sword so you're gonna do more dps but you're gonna need to pull out your rapier more often to do some repos i'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to keep the aggro but doing it like that, I've been able to keep the aggro and there was no problem with it and it was working amazing. Uh, I use stone form, but more I play it. Like if you play with a good group, I don't think you need stone form as a tank in this dungeon. Uh, just make almost no sense. Uh, the shield, you can take it off. It's a no shield tank. Um, the amulet, it depends on the, on the fight. Like. Uh, this amulet is bad. Uh, I don't know why I have this. Like, let's say that I'm fighting the last boss of the Gorgon Raid and I need a natural amulet. You're going to change your the type of protection. You see, there's a protection tied there and it's, you need to adapt to the situation. And then RT leeching with Keen would be great. RT leeching and slash damage could be great. Uh, fortifying Toast is amazing. Regenerating... That just depend. Uh, I did it with like 350 con, maybe a bit more. I don't remember. Probably 350 con, and the rest in strength. So regenerating is working fine. But if you're tanking with like five con or something like that, you don't use regenerating. But yeah, for a tank with a lot of con, refreshing tolls, uh, fortifying tolls, regenerating is amazing. So then you got um, the l potion the infused regen potion too and then you got the rt meal and then that does nothing you you can maybe have a uh, earring with uh, ilti toes that could work if you are lower con uh, instead of regenerating that could work but you know during while you're like drinking the potion you are into animation it can be risky so it all depends on your game play there's purifying toes that can be good that depend on the situation a lot uh, this is a lot a situational thing i think with endless thirst could be good too like i don't even know why i'm not wearing endless thirst right now that could be better with endless thirst maybe it's just because i wanted to be able to pop more potion more often because i was not uh feeling my healer or something but yeah it worked you know i did it with this build so uh the great sword this is what i used all right uh it worked very well i use it this because uh armor penetration is always good to do more dps for sure uh you if you want to take uh something off into this you're gonna take the steadfast strike off and then you're gonna put like the relentless crush that would be great just to repos reposition yourself or a skyward slash but uh yeah skyward slash you're kind of vulnerable while you're doing it and uh, if you have something like a trenchant strike you're not gonna be easy attacking while doing the skyward slash so you're gonna waste time and probably do less dps than if you were just ev attacking so take care of what you do with skyward slash personally i would be going more for relentless rush just doing a small spin go into the unsold stance it a few time and then go back into camelimity counter when i'm in danger and then put that with the roaring rupture at the end while i'm i'm face tanking uh, to regain my stamina so the rapier build this is that it's mostly just a movement build you you can put this if you want and change nothing uh yeah it helps a lot. Repost is a taunt. So if you put the Carnelian on the repost, it's a taunt. And if you have the weapon perk, it's um it's a auto It's just it's a rend. So it's a big rend to even on your armor, alright? And the calamity counter, like th this perk is pretty good to calamity counter. 
Uh, the rupture is only a uh, slow, so it's usable, but you, you're gonna uh, lose some armor to put it, so it, it's good and mid at the same time. And this, uh, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, it's gonna cleanse you or something. It's nothing uh, really important. So it, the, the one you might want the most is kind of Calamity Counter. I did not use it, but it's gonna give you back some stamina. So if you feel like you're lacking stamina, it can help a lot. So for the attribute, sorry, I was a DPS. Uh, I put everything uh, in con, 350 con, and then the rest in strength. You know what? I think I'm gonna go do an acid pull chest. Run. I probably have like some scarab that I don't even sell on me. Look, scarab. You see, I have six scarab, and I'm not even trying to sell. It. This is the first thing I, I gotta do right now, just to get some money, like. Uh, I'm not even like trying to sell things. This is uh, the only reason. I probably have like hundred of gems on all kind. Like, I'm just bored. I've played too much of this game. All right. So, uh, this is it for the guide part. Uh, now I'm gonna show the gameplay. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Tell someone you love them. Peace out. You fuck pussy. Get that fucking piece of shit over here.
pulled it before. Oh, I, I pulled it quite a bit. It's gonna be Down. Why do I feel 
like I'm doing no damage. You're on the wrong side. You gotta hit his spine. Ten twelve. Hold his breath off. Talking about boners. Are you getting one? For real? I have a class <laughs> cannon boner right now. Whoa! He's gonna start jumping in a couple seconds. Right now. He's gonna yeah. start doing that he's gonna jump. He's gonna do both of us.
Put that on the stone. I was trying to jump, bro. Fuck. Jumping. Jumping again. 
Staff can hit the crystal. I'm gonna pull the boss on him so he's gonna hit the crystal on the boss. Yeah, it is. 